So for today, we're going to be looking at Promethean Spur. I got to ask for it not too long ago. And if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, all of that does help my analytics, makes me feel good, and actually motivates me to make more content for y'all. So you guys have been doing a great job with it, and I just appreciate y'all, and let's just get into it. So Promethean Spur is pretty interesting. The perk itself is called Embers of Light, defeating combatants or guardians while daybreak is active create a healing and empowering rift at their location while standing in any rift uh, solar weapon final blows grant rift energy when your rift energy is full final blows consume your rift energy and create a healing and empowering rift at the target's location so it did get changed with solar 3.0 which is pretty cool because i don't remember that being a interaction with solar weapons if it if it was let me know in the comments below but i don't remember that interaction happening which is super cool because it kind of makes the exotic a little bit better we don't usually talk about the pve or pve aspects of the exotics i just tell you what it does give you a little bit of history if there is any interesting history of it and then we just look at the exotic today's no different let's look at the exotic i think it looks amazing it looks super super cool my only gripe is that if you want to look at like at the exotics actual like coolness i guess you would say then you actually have to have your super because once you have your super it actually shows how it looks and it has different levels to it so like at 10 percent, it has like a slight glow at full super it actually shows up in full and then like certain other interactions that do change the exotics look sometimes like for example eating your grenade when you're on solar actually changes it the look of it but that's more the grenade itself just does that but overall i think it looks super cool the only unfortunate part aside from what i just said is that the kneecap that like that like stone doesn't change color and it's also in the back of the cab as well other than that uh it looks amazing if the stone in the in the knee and be and behind the cab actually did change color this would easily be an s tier exotic because it looks amazing as for the shading situation it actually is pretty good as well aside from the stone that doesn't change color everything looks amazing shaders really well i love that the metal webbing has such a good shader to it like you can put almost any shader to it and it's gonna look amazing so yeah bungie all you have to do is just let us have the stone be shaderable and this exotic is easily s tier fashion wise uh as for the example set i i went all out with this one i am actually a bit proud of this one because uh of just how it looks the only unfortunate part is the fact that i designed this one around the exotic having the super active as in having the the claw or the talon the flame talons at the bottom all of that being active so for the helmet we're using the celestial cover for the glow in the helmet for the arms we're using the, Sol the solstice gloves magnificent for the glow same thing for the dawn singer robes it's for the glow and then the street scholar bond because of the glow if you want you can use the dawn singer bond so that way you can have more fire but i actually like the street scholar bond a little bit more personally now again like i said this one i specifically made to show off when the super is active as in when you're when you have your super but you haven't popped it yet this is how it usually looks i'll have it right now i think it looks amazing it's one of my favorite looks because when when you do have your super and you look like this you look like an absolute savage uh the only thing i guess you could say is you could probably switch out the dawn singer robes with the dong singer helmet so that way you can actually have actual fire in your head but i like the fact that the armor in the shoulder pieces for the dong singer robes has fire like creeping out which is way better than the helmet because the helmet just has like an exhaust pipe in like the back of your head which looks weird so warlocks let me know what you guys think i know this one's pretty weird because it i made a fashion revolving around the exotic state that's like only when you have your super but the other one is not the other one is the opposite there's no glow to it and it's literally just to showcase the exotic like the feet and everything so yeah let me know what you guys think and let's just get into the second one 
as for the second look i went with a more organic look so that way it kind of like makes sense with the feet although the chest piece you can really switch things around with so for the helmet we're using the wraith trail hood just because i like the fact that it has spikes and it goes well with the chest piece which is the apilos following robes for the arms we're using, we're using these fetish gloves because i love the like the engraving on the arm and i honestly just that's really it the engraving on the arm really lends itself to this organic look for the bond we're using the bond of us reciprocity uh just because the bond like the it almost looks like a like a scale which is why i'm using it uh, i don't want to talk too much about this one because again this one is more to showcase when the exotic's not in the fire state this one's just like regular how it always looks and i wanted to also use a shader that goes well with it which is the in silvered snare i think the the color of the robes really lends itself to the stone at the bottom which i also didn't mention for the last uh for the last set but i did end up using the the knight's chill because the knight's chill is a really good shader that goes well with the stone pretty much any shader that i use with these boots will always have a shader that complements the stone color because i really don't like when a color is out of whack because then it really kind of irks me even though it's first person and people are going to be like but you never see your character if i know my my shit like my color's off it'll bug me so say what you will that's just how it be so warlocks let me know what you guys think i'm gonna be real with you guys the second set is not my favorite uh it's it was just more of a like i i always at least want to give you guys two sets when when there is no ornament for it so that way you guys can see like okay well i can do this or i can do that uh and the honestly i just really wish we had more organic like human pieces like i would love to have like a porcelain like human face for the for the helmet and then like for the arms maybe i don't mm, arms would be probably the hardest piece but for the chest piece i would like to see like rib cages and like human anatomy actually be a part of the armor so once we get that i think i think that would probably be the best thing for this exotic because then at that point you would have feet on your on your actual feet and then like a human face and all of that which is funny because i was actually thinking about switching off to where is it uh, I should have hopefully shown you guys what I'm seeing right now, but I was thinking about using the legacy cow, the legacy oaths cow, because I do like the fact that it's like human, like or human enough, where it does look pretty cool with it. But again, this has a very like mechanical, electronical look, which is I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, I think that's gonna clash too much. So if you really wanted to, you could probably just end up doing something like this with this helmet. And then switch this or switch the chest piece with where are you oh i'm using it am i yeah so something like this i know i've showcased this or i'm about to showcase this specific set in a future video but you can do something like this and i don't think it would look weird i actually do think it would look cool because the webbing uh really lends itself to this whole like look and then the feet just would look cool as well so just just gonna tell you guys right now i do i use the same chest piece and the same helmet for a future look but i do think that look looks super fucking cool and you guys will understand why i say that so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help thank you guys for coming up to this point i really do appreciate y'all if you guys want to see certain exotic let me know in the comments below because i am starting to make these again and i have actually caught up already like all of all of the ones that have been asked for are already either made or i'm currently editing them so the only thing that i need to actually do is do the voiceover which is what i'm doing now so if you guys want to see a certain exotic just let me know in the comments below if you guys want to donate to for me to do you guys a specific ornament that i don't have that is also a possibility because i do have a patreon and i'll explain my patreon in a little a little in the I'll explain my Patreon with a little bit more in-depth explanation when I make a certain video for it because I think it's important to talk about it. But let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys later.